Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the DM variety verification failed error. This error gave me a hard time when I was trying to do a factory reset of one of my customers, Samsung SMJ120F. This phone was stuck in a boot loop. It could not boot beyond the start screen. The quick fix that I thought of was to do a factory reset on the device, but uh, only to find that uh, the factory reset wasn't the solution in this situation. Every time I tried to do a factory reset, I got this error, the DM variety verification failed. I actually discovered that uh, it indicates that there was an attempt to modify the device's firmware and that uh, the modification was deemed a security threat. So the phone decided to um, fail the attempt and it put itself in a permanent closed state where it could take no more inputs. So to fix this problem, we're actually gonna have to download a few softwares that are going to help us uh, flush the ROM to the device. The first software that we're gonna have to download is Odin which is a leaked Samsung program that is used to flash ROM on Samsung devices. You're going to have to visit this uh, website. I'll have the link in the description for you. On Odini website, you'll have to click on downloads just to make sure we're on the same page. And uh, you will see the latest version. That's the one that I downloaded. You click on that. Um, there's quite a lot of download buttons. You need to scroll down until you find this, this green begin download button it's where the software is you click on that uh, get the software download the software save it on your system and then uh, you will have to install it uh, from there uh, i've already downloaded the software i'm not going to download it again and uh, i'll be showing you the other software that we need in this regard so the second software that we're going to be using is actually the firmware itself so we shall head to SA Mobile. I'll just copy the link because I have it here and I'll have this link um, in the description below so you can check the description for the link. So on this page, you either need to be logged in if you have an account already, uh, you can have a free membership account or you can go for a premium account. I don't know much about their premium accounts and what they offer, but uh, the free account worked in my favor. So you click on the join page if you don't have one and uh, insert your information to create an account. Or if you have an account, like in my case, you just need to click on login and then provide your login details. Then after you will have to go to firmware. You insert the device model number, which is in my case, J12. This is the model number for the device and then search. The downside of the free account is it takes quite some time to download. So you're going to have to sit back and relax. I have to look for my country here, South Africa. Click on it. And then scroll on the results page, regular download. Click on download. And click on download again. I don't know why they're making it so hard to download the firmware when you, I don't know how the experience is from the premium version, but it's kind of so many clicks you have to go through to get the download of the firmware you're looking for. But all in all, this is the package. You click on save and save the firmware. I've already downloaded this one so i don't need to download it again uh, something that you need to know here it's a big file and also you need to know it's going to take quite some time to download because you're on a free membership account they promise the premium member account holders to have a quicker download but anyway all in all it works so it takes some time you can pause the video wait for the download to finish and after then then you can come back we go through the steps that I use to solve the problem. So after downloading both the firmware and Odin, one thing that we have left that we need to download is the Samsung device drivers. Uh, we can get the device drivers from this uh, website here. I'll have the link posted in the description below. Let's head to the browser, insert the URL to the website, scroll down to get the green download button, 
download the drivers save them to your system i have already downloaded these drivers so i'm not going to be downloading them again but they will enable your phone to connect to the computer during the rom flashing process now the next thing you're gonna want to do is to locate the downloaded samsung drivers and uh, install them on your system in my case they're in downloads so uh i'll just look for downloads here the preferred driver in downloads and then uh, here are the usb drivers you then need to extract them and install them on your system i've already done that so i'm not going to run through that with you after you install the drivers what we need to do next is to install odin on the system you need to find a download location where odin was downloaded to and then open the folder if you haven't already extracted it you need to extract it open the folder and double click on the odini icon when odin opens it will look like that i assume you have already downloaded the samsung device drivers the next thing you'd need to do is to switch off your phone remove the battery and make sure the phone is off then what you want to do is to boot your phone in uh, download mode to boot your phone in download mode you need to hold volume down button home button and power button at the same time you will get to the screen over here you'll see some warnings on the screen you need to click on the volume up to continue and then uh, once we click the volume up we shall get to this uh, to this screen this is where we need to connect our phone to the USB cable and connect it to the computer. After connecting the phone to Odin, the next thing we want to do is to load the firmware into Odin. We shall load it into AP. We navigate to where our firmware is installed. Open it. It takes some time but you need to be patient anyway what we need to do here is we need to wait up until this firmware has been loaded into Odin you'll notice that the system is complaining that Odin is not responding that's okay you just need to be a little bit patient once the firmware is loaded the next thing we want to do is to click on start From your phone you're gonna notice that uh, it starts to download the firmware at this point in time you don't need to disconnect your phone from the computer and also you need to know that the download takes quite some time so i'll pause the video and then i'll be coming back towards the finishing of the downloading as you can see uh, we are towards the end of download after downloading the phone is going to restart and now uh, one thing you need to know i'm not going to have the same screen as you will have because in my case i had already flashed a uh, new stock rom onto this phone so it had no problem when i started demonstrating to you so we're going to have totally different screens uh, from one that you will have uh, yours will take you through series of setups or, or settings that you will need to uh, f um, run through in order to get your phone back working again so on that note i hope this video helps you and please guys don't forget to subscribe like it share it and subscribe so that more fixes more technology fixes can come through don't forget to subscribe cheers peace i'm out